Pakipigan, welcome to this episode of Sabado Nights with Steve Lu. Ito po ang part 1 ng Balear episode dito sa Sabado Nights with Steve Lu. Sabado Nights Sabado Nights mainit ang... Pakipigan, bumiyahe po tayo ng Balear Aurora which is about 6 hour drive from Manila. Tapos, uh, actually, ang pinuntahan natin doon ay ang Northern Lights Arts and Music Festival. Isa sa mga promotions ng Costa Pacifica Baler to promote tourism in Baler. Bubukas lang kasi ng Baler Aurora. So, nung first day ng uh, Northern Lights Music and Arts Festival, nag-ikot-ikot tayo. Pero nakaschedule din tayo tumugtog sa gabi nito. So, ang ginawa ko muna, nung hapon medyo nag-ikot-ikot lang muna para to check out the sights and the sounds. Na, Kinausap ko yung mga local musicians at syempre yung aking long-time partner na si Bob Miranda from the Runaway Boys. Panoorin natin itong segment na to. Hi, this is Steve Lu coming to you live from Baler Aurora. Yes, the surfing capital of Luzon. Andito tayo ngayon kasi meron tayong invitation to perform at the Northern Lights Music Festival here in Sabang Beach. So, mag-iikot-ikot muna tayo para pakita natin sa inyo ang Baler. Andito tayo ngayon sa Costa Pacifica in Baler. Ang ating host for this uh, for this visit. So, we're so looking forward beautiful resort, four-star resort here in Baler. Meron silang dalawang swimming pool. So, on your next visit to Baler, please check out Costa Pacifica Baler. One of the most beautiful resorts that you can stay in here in Baler. See you guys in the next few days. Narito tayo ngayon sa RTV 92.1 Baler. Kasama si DJ Savannah and si DJ Mets. <laughs> so, nandito tayo para sa Northern Lights Music and Art Festival. Ayan yung poster nila. Yan, yan, yan. So, I will be performing tonight and tomorrow night. It's April 29 and April 30 tomorrow. We'll be performing tonight here at this venue. So I'll be performing with my longtime buddy, na college, uh, college buddy ko at bandmate ko sa Runaway Boys. Mga kaibigan, si Bob Miranda! Alright, 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 alright. Pagkamu lang natin yung gusto. Chef, gusto na. Anong oras na ba? Anong oras na? Alas 5, tutupo kami alas o alak 5 na. Beer o'clock na. Beer o'clock. Eh, tutugtog kami ng 8pm, so uh, subaybayan nyo lang itong episode na to. We're going to talk about Baler, you know, the music, the food. We'll be presenting our food diwata in this episode. <laughs> and so, we hope you enjoy this episode of Sabado Nights in Baler Aurora. Yeah! Ma'am, ano dito? Bibing ka? Wow, thank you so much. So, eto na. Nandito tayo ngayon sa Northern Lights Music and Arts Festival. Meron ako mga guests. Jan Jan, Sir Metz, ha? Kabanda mo si Jan Jan. Jan Jan naman ay drummer. Siya ang magda-drums para sa amin ngayon. Yahoo! Tapos si Sir Metz naman, yan ay radio personality, news, uh, ano, filmmaker. Digital filmmaker, sorry. Anyway, sir, uh, ano ka ba? Local boy ka ba? Born and raised. Kayong tatlo, born and raised. So, nagsiserve pa kayong tatlo. Okay. Yun lang! <laughs> yun lang! So, nung pinanganak ka, siguro wala pang hindi pag-upload. Meron na kasi nung bata kami, buwi pinila kami sa surfboard. Pero hindi, hindi ko naging big, naging uh, 
Ah, laro. Ah, hindi mo ano, hindi niya feel. At saka ano, mapapalo ako nang nanay ko noong pag naliligo sa dagat. Ay, talaga. Kasi malayo kami, malayo kami dito. Aha, ah, ikaw naman diyan diyan. Uh, Sinubukan ko mag-serve pero mahirap kaya nagpanda na lang ako. Nagpanda. <laughs> <laughs> Yan ang, yan ang ano, true plan. Rock and roll. Experience naman yun. Oo. Oh, so, na-experience ko kasi yung tabla lang na kinuha namin sa mga bangka. Pasirit yung tawa. Pasirit yung tawa. Oo. Oh. Pasirit. Oo. Oh, mga ano ko naman. Yung 80s, 5. Ang kaya lang namin yung plywood na dadapa. Oo. Oh, right. Pero, uh, paano kayong napasok sa music scene? Yung tatay ko po kasi, ano, gitarista. Nag-abanda. Tapos, tinuruan niya ako mag-gitara at saka mag-drum. So, natutuwa lang ako. Tapos, naging gap. Oo, yung tatay niya kasi ito, gumigig sa mani ilang isang kasama sa recording nila every boy ay ganun ba? tanong session musician siya okay so nag-ibisa ka yung father mo gusto ko sana siyang makamusap anyway dito siya tumuntok okay so paano siyang may mga bay pinutugan ba siya rito? sa pol sa mga kauna-una na nag-gitara dito oh baka mas alam yung mess yung mess Noong mga time na mga punk houses pa, mga tatay-tatay niya isa sa mga sikat dito na pinapuntaan sa mga punk houses, mga disco houses. Saan ang mga punk houses mo ba? Ayun mo sa area ng Costa. Oo, punk era nga yun. Mga anong year ba? 80s, 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 90s. Ang kasamahan ng tatay niya yung mga tito ko. Okay! So may eksena dito no? Anong mga tinutugtog ng mga banda ng mga mga Jokin? Butter songs, tapos nung inabot ko na rin sila nung babanda-banda na rin ako New Wave Curious lang kasi ako kasi nag-iikot ako na tumira akong Puerto Galera, tumira ako ng Boracay Marami akong kilala ng mga musikero doon na yun nga, doon lang sila tumutugtog No, uh, hindi sila ano kasi uh, sa mga panahon niya na pag-usapan natin okay. kanina, di ba? Actually, meron, may, 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 may eksena dito na may mga nag-organize before. Kami, isa kami sa nag-organize before ng si Joseph Gonzalez. Uh, nag-organize, dinadala yung mga ban, local bands sa Mayrick, dinadala yung local bands mm-hmm. sa, sa Purple Haze. Yun yung mga na-organize, isa sa mga na-organize. Right. By the way, si Metz ang isa sa mga organizers dito sa Northern Lights. Uh, are you the head uh, organizer? Alright! Yeah. Yeah. Salamat nga pala sa pag-imbita ko sa amin. <laughs> Salamat din sa Costa Pacifica. Bala. Salamat sa pag-upaula. Oo oh, naman, oo oh, naman. Siyempre, basta music oh. nandyan tayo. Usapan nga namin ni Kuya Metz kanina na sa mga panahon ngayon, mabili na mag-recording. Diba? May computer na lang. Diba? So, sumusulat pa kayo ng mga kanta. Dati ako. Ako, saan na yung mga kanta mo? Pag-ingan pa lang. Sir, kaginyo doon pa lang ako nung start pa lang. Oo, bakit? 19 ka lang naman ngayon. Hindi kasi iba yung generation. Una yung tatay niya yung pinaka... sa pinaka... Pioneer. Pioneer. Tapos kasi parang ilang banta lang yan ang kapatid niya. Tapos yung OCO sa radyo. Hindi ba may tunog kalya sa Manila, no? Yes, yes. Dito yung kinuusi, tunog, tunog, akaw. Yung expression, yung akaw, yung expression namin na parang, parang bilib, parang umakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakak
di ba? Growth opportunity din yung bilang isang musikero. Mm. Right. Wonderful, wonderful. Okay, thank you guys from Valerie. Right. Yeah. Bye. So I'm here with Mr. Chris Ord, our main sponsor for uh, our stay here at the at the, the Northern Lights Music Festival. Chris Ord is the GM of uh, Costa Pacifica. Yeah. And, and here are the fans. The fans. The fans. Lance, the wind! Huh? The wind! What? It's blown on shorts, coming on shorts, gonna blow this place out! It's gonna ruin it! Salamat Bobin local musicians, napanood ninyo yung pag-ikot-ikot natin doon sa sa venue ng Northern Lights Music and Arts Festival. Ah, napakasaya, very light, mabuti na lang hindi yung ulan nung gabing yun. Alright, so marami din tayo napanood ng mga musikerong tumugtog doon. At ito yung some snippets from my performance of that evening. Thank you, thank you. You're still here on Sabado Nights with Steve Lou. Ito naman susunod na segment na to. Bumisito tayo dun sa isang site sa Baler na tinawag nilang Dogtown Collective. Do you wonder why it's called Dogtown Collective? Kasi maraming aso dun, free-flowing ang mga dogs dun. It's very pet-friendly. And it's a collective of stalls. No? Merong Durf dun, which is a food stall. Nandoon din yung Black Moon, which is a pub. Tapos, there are other stalls there. Kinausap natin yung mga proprietors. Pakinggan ninyo yung mga napag-usapan namin. Hey guys! It's Steve Lou here for Sabado Nights. Meron tayong special ngayon. Meron tayong kakausapin dito sa Balera Aurora. Alright, cheers guys! Cheers! Yan, ang dito tayo sa Dogtown Collective. Kasama natin si Mario and Tiara. Sorry, ladies first. Tiara and Mario. Actually, you know, we invited ourselves here because we are curious about what's going on here in Baler. So, guys, uh, what is Dogtown Collective? Uh, Dogtown Collective, uh, it started as a, a passion project, like everything else. We, what we had in mind was to put up like a collective of different uh, food, non-food stalls in all-in-one place. Mm -hmm. uh, the the peg back then was uh, the B-side B -side collective. B-side collective. Yeah, so we, we were we were doing something like that, but we want to put it here in Palermo. So 
uh, eventually we were just I, before we were just looking for two stores, but eventually it evolved into having a co-working space, a bar, some comfort food, and some yeah. some some other stuff that you know that people are now used to uh, seeing. But also rooted in Atlapasina, we from the start we were clear that we wanted um, Dogtown to be a plastic-free space. Um, not wow. a lot, not a lot of establishments in Valera were doing that before. But we were clear from the start that all stalls shouldn't have anything plastic or single-use plastic. Mm -hmm. We were, I think, we were pretty much like one of the few. Wow, that's brilliant. So you are here in Ali Two. Yes. It's known as Ali Two. So. Uh, when did you guys uh, start? When did you open up? Five years ago. Yeah. Five, Five years now, Dogtown. Maybe yeah. 2016, I guess. June 2016. Yeah. Oh! We started really, really, really slow. Uh, we also want to push our um, grey water system. Because we, we, all the water is coming, all the water coming from the sink and the shower drain, uh, that's uh, being reused. Uh, here, that's why we have this. Chiara uh, actually is the one who designed it. This yeah, yeah, yeah. What a brilliant idea. So, uh, what we're going to do right now is to visit the... Ano nga ba yun? Balay. 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 So, uh, Chiara and Mario of Dogtown Collective, let's have a look at Balay. Here we are in Balay, sir. Ayan, no? These are the accommodations, uh, and we're still with Mario and Tiara in their beautiful <laughs> Dogtown Collective shirts. <laughs> eh, syempre, wala kaming shirt. Bisita lang kami. <laughs> but here we are in Balay, sir. So this is a hostel. Uh... Yeah, you can. Nah, it's a small hotel. We have a, we have six rooms. Uh, we can accommodate up to twenty-eight to thirty-six people. So how many people in the room? Uh, some. Uh, one, two rooms, we have a uh, maximum of, of eight packs. Mm -hmm. We can accommodate up to eight packs, but that's four to eight packs. Like, right, right. All right. So, uh, how do we get in touch with the Dogtown Collective or Balay Sir? Um, you can message us on our Instagram or Facebook account. So, the easiest would be through Dogtown Collective. Um, we update that regularly and you'll find out also um, what's going on in Balay. Balay by Dogtown is also on Instagram and, and Facebook. Facebook. Yes. And um, we're launching our website soon, uh, <laughs> dogtowncollective.com. All right. And we answer really, we reply fast. So. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much, these people from beautiful Dogtown Collective. Makikita nyo sila doon sa Ali 2 ng Balair Aurora. Ayun, so after ng show, bumisita tayo doon sa Aliyah Surf Resort. Kasi yung Aliyah Surf Resort, Pinuntahan namin yan noong 2017 with the Acoustic Blues Experiment, ang aking second band. Well, actually, third band. Kasama ko dyan sila, Bong Lennon. No? Naglabas kami ng CD noong 2017 at nag-tour kami ng North. Isa sa mga stops namin was Alia Surf Resort in Baler. So, eto yung pag-ikot namin dun sa gabing yun. Where I know I will find you When you call my name Your need will be my beacon Like the sun is to the day Wait for me, wait for me You know I will be there Wait for me, wait for me You know I will be there Remember summer nights we used to play I know these days are gone But the feelings still remain Wait for me, wait for me You know I will be there Wait for me, wait for me You know I will be there 
what's happening? The waves are calling! The waves are calling! So, we'll check out Aliyah. This is where, I know, this is where we... It's one of the venues for the Rocoustic Blues Experiment Tour. Yeah, the north of... North of Las Piñas Tour. So, silipin natin ang Aliyah Sir. Maraming salamat Aliya Sir Resort. Ito naman ang susunod na segment na to. Of course, pinakilala na namin last time ang ating food correspondent, Miss Katya, to show us around the food treats in Balear. Hey, this is Katya, your food correspondent for Saturday nights. Okay, so we've ordered a longaniza and pako pizza. This is one of our best things here at Costa Pacific of Balear. Uh, so it's made of local longaniza. And we've got pako, which is a local edible fern. It's found all over Aurora in Belair. And uh, it's really good. It's really delicious. And mm -hmm. I've ordered also a frozen Kalamazoo margarita, which is a perfect partner. So anyway, guys, yeah, let's see. This is our first meal in Belair. And what better place to have it than in Costa Pacifica? We're here at Costa Pacifica Belair for the buffet breakfast. Our place here is called Beach House, and we have a wonderful buffet breakfast. Come on, let's go check it out. Hey, we're here at the Costa Pacifica Belair breakfast buffet. Let me show you out. Come on. Here we've got some really lovely bread made in the hotel, and we have our lovely pizza, which Costa is famous for. The Paco and Longanisa pizza is fabulous. And here we've got bacon, mm, yummy, and beavis, waffles, some pancakes, personal favorite. Of course, we've got our eggs, and you can get our cooks to make your eggs any way you like. We've got of course, some healthy oatmeal, fruit to go with that. We have some salads if you fancy for the very health conscious. We've got cereal as well, or cakes, or oatmeal. Like I mentioned, and we have our really good, really delicious salad. And we have the usual buffet staple for breakfast, some sinangan to go with your balloon uh, domains, which I'll show you later. We have our pancit balloon for all you pancit fans out there. So I'm going to play that again for the very healthy breakfast. Really healthy stuff. Some grilled tomato. Open it uh, wide. Breakfast potato. And one of my personal favorites, the Belair Longanisa. So it's a, not a sweet longanisa, it's meaty and it's garlicky. I love it. And last but not least, a pork from our fruit. And the little bits and pieces like uh, salted egg and uh, a chara to go with your longaniza. We have, this is the highlight of the bu buffet breakfast, our famous Belair Suman. Here, take a look. Here we go. See? This is our famous Belair Suman. For condiments, well, let me show you. We've got our famous Nanay Pasing Cocoa Jam, made right here in Belair, and peanut butter. Oh, our Nanay Pasing peanut butter is famous all over the place. It's fabulous. I love this. And it goes perfectly with the soup. And give the buffet a breakfast a try because we've got everything, something for everyone. We're here at Beach House, the in-house restaurant of Costa Pacifica Belair, and I am having our Belair Pancit, the 
look at that. So it's got some pako, which is our native edible fern. And uh, it's got some uh, pork and shrimp and some spicy uh, loco suka. And I'm having a refreshing Valera Sunrise. It's our version of tequila sunrise. And here we have our Valera Longaniza. A bit garlicky, a bit peppery, all good. Really scrumptious. Okay, let's eat. We're here at Cucina Ventian. It's a really popular local hangout place that serves amazing food. So I just ordered some Yampo Longaniza, Valera Longaniza, and their famous Paco salad. Come on, let's go check it out inside. So what we have here is their famous papo salad. It's got salted egg, tomatoes, and our famous local edible fern, the papo. It's really, really lovely. It's my favorite. And what I like about this place, I mean, apart from the simple bamboo furniture, the, the simple uh, hut structure, the that's against the usual Belair sun and rain, um, we have uh, a self-service kind of place. So whenever you after you finish eating with your hands, you take your banana leaf to one of the bins here and you throw it away. And every time you get your cups to, for something to drink, you see over there in the sign, Dahon mo, tapon mo. I love that. Alright, so as you can see, finished all the pako salad really quickly. So, super good. I'm not sh quite sure how they cook the pako because it seems to be like candied or caramelized somehow, but it still maintains that freshness and crispness that Papua is known for. Uh, they also have it here on their other signature dishes, which are the Baler Longaniza and their famous Yampo. Also served with salted egg, which, you know, all these flavors just go so well together. Again, the crispness of the Papua, the freshness, uh, complements the saltiness of the eggs, and um, and goes really well with the, the meats and the rice. So, the verdict for Casino Linti and excellent. Meat cooked perfectly, just the way meat should be. Oh, meat, I love my meat. And it's perfect definition of finger licking good. And any place that can get me to eat like a three year old again, you know, it was a beautiful mess, a hot mess. I loved every minute of it. What else can I say? Well, I think it, again, it's a uh, well-deserved reputation is one of the best places to eat in Valera, right? Keep on rocking. Hey, this is Katya, your food correspondent and food duwata for Sabado Nights with Steph Lou. I'm here with Adrian. Thanks, Katya. Thanks for coming and hanging out with us today. Welcome to Belair. Welcome to uh, Northern Lights Music and Arts Festival. Welcome. I'm we're, so happy to be here. And we're so stoked you guys are here. We're so stoked you guys want to hear about what's been going on in Belair. This is Dirk. We're a small bar and kitchen. We opened in October of 2020. And that was how many months after lockdown. And it was very new to have a new business. That was not a regular thing. Because we didn't have tourism at all. We had no tourism from the start of lockdown until basically in a practical way until this February. That's only a couple months ago, and we're still getting used to it. We're so excited to have everyone here. So, this is the menu. Nice of, uh, we have beers, we have tacos, we have poke bowls. And the format is over here where the food happens. This is our team. Everyone here is from Belair. That's Jess. That's boss Ali. And that's Charlie back there. Charlie from San Luis. What's up, Charlie? Uh, and they're preparing some food for us right now. Oh. We have our veggie taco. Uh, yeah, so what we do is we smoke banana blossom and mushrooms. We have this little R2D2 shaped smoker. And we take wood from the fruit trees. There's a lot of trees that went down because of the missies. But we've been using all the wood because fruit bearing trees are like the best wood for smoking. So that's the wood that we use. 
ang verb at ang peach pie. Ganun din ang Butter Street Food Corner. What's your favorite dish to make? My favorite dish to make? It's really probably the poke bowl, which are also preparing a poke bowl for you. I love, I love poke bowls. I love the mix. The freshness is perfect for the beach. Perfect for the beach life. So I can't wait to have it. It's always a good thing to source locally, buy from the local fishermen when you can directly, and you know, uh, treat your ingredients with respect, just like the way Adrian has. So these are the smoked banana hearts. Right, right. yeah. I love how you use that. That's not a common ingredient. Yeah, okay, look, look, here we go. This is the yellow thing, right? Yeah, that's it. Oh, that's it. That's it. Oh, that's it. Okay. This is dirt for you and Adrian. You know you are a rock star. Thank you for being Thank you, man. It's such a compliment. Thank you very much. I'm going to enjoy eating this. So here we are at Southern Beach and I'm going to try Adrian's Poke Bowl and Veggie taco. Let's start with the poke bowl because you know, flavors are more delicate and I want to get the flavor of that the yellow fin. Mm. Oh my god, you shut up. Okay, this is like totally my wheelhouse. I could eat this all the time. So I mean, I'm not, I'm not super health conscious, but this, you know. This is like, this is good for the soul and the, the body, seriously. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try a bit of the, uh, the veggie taco. So let's sure. start with the banana hearts. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. Okay. I am converted. You guys, you need to like buy banana hearts now and you need to cook them. As I said, I'm not vegetarian or anything like that, but you know, this, this could turn me. This could so turn me. Up, guys. Man, you know, this is like this is like a party in my mouth right now. I totally recommend when you're in Belair, go to go to Durf. It's in a dog town collective. And uh Adrian, you got a Facebook and Instagram? Yes, that's right. Okay, so all of our handles are at Durf Sesh. So you can find us at, at Durf S E S H. When you're in Belair, come and visit the Durf. Food correspondent. Look for Adrian, this has been your food correspondent Katya for Sabado night. It's the flu. Keep on rocking. Thank you so much, Miss Katya, for showcasing all these food treats in Balear. At jana nagwawakas ang part one itong Balear episode dito sa Sabado Nights with Steve Flu. Abangan yun next weekend, part two naman. Kung saan naglakad tayo dito sa boardwalk at kinausap natin yung ibang mga artists, sa mga local OGs ng ng Balear at Siyempre, meron din tayong mga drone shots dyan na yun, simple lang naman. Anyway, marami pang mapapanood sa part 2 ng Balear episode dito sa Sabado Nights with Steve Lu. Abangan nyo next week. Kita-kits! Oh, Sabado, Sabado, Sabado Nights!